how are you? I just wanted to give my scouting report on Kennedy Chandler. Well, you just say, who are you? You're just a preacher. But I'm a certified basketball nut. What I've noticed over the years in Memphis is that any talent or skill set that gets acclaimed nationwide that comes from Memphis, Memphians are hardest on them. And God forbid you take your talents outside of the University of Memphis. And then you can understand that that adds a little bit of uh, tough times. Kennedy, I saw this guy posting on Facebook, uh, Kylan Chandler. And, you know, I still, guess I still had a little bit of the Memphis in me, too, because I went to the game. And I, I know I saw him posting, and I've always kept my somewhere in close quarters, somebody's telling me about who's hot coming up in high school ball. So I'd heard his name here and there. He had a little young man at Lifetime talk about him. So I went to see, after seeing his dad post, is this guy the truth? So I go uh, one night, my wife and I, actually on a Saturday night on a whim, we go to this hoop fest at Briarcrest on a Saturday night. I think it's about $25 a head. So they're serious about their basketball over there. Uh, and we stood outside in the cold for about 30 minutes to get in to only arrive in a gym where we stood for about an hour and a half because it was packed with no seats left. And at this hoop fest, they had invited the top high school teams from around the country. Of course, Kennedy went to Briarcrest at that time. That was his junior year. So he's the hometown favorite, uh, literally, because they're in his gym. But this gym was full of future NBAers. And I saw Kennedy. I think Rodney Newsom's son played a great game that night. And I saw Kennedy play a great game. His coach has part of the credit because they held the ball on this team of superstars that they beat that night. But I saw this guy is real. He goes to all the camps. He's on all of the list. All of these sportscasters are following him. But Memphians are hard on our talent. I've watched Memphians blossom over the years. I remember being ran out of the gym uh, saying that Rodney Carney was going to make the lead. I remember I, I, I ran out of the barbershop. I remember being ran out of the barbershop even mentioning that Will Barton would make the lead. And I think Will the Thrill now is up about 60 mil. 60, 70 mil since they ran me out of the barbershop. I even remember Penny having his greatest haters right here in Memphis, Tennessee. What I see, I saw uh, Craig Dandridge and Curtis Givens post that Kennedy's been a winner everywhere he is. Yes, obviously, you all are attacking his size, but who told Spud Webb that? Who told Muggsy Bowes that? Who told Chris Paul that? As a matter of fact, why would all these NBA players come here in town and call him on the low to come and play ball with them? NBAers don't like playing with people that don't have like talent. So my thing, this guy's a winner. One thing, son in the sports casting world, they'll tell you about how gifted a player is, how talented a player is. But when they're describing, I hate to say it, let me say it, a black point guard, you never hear the word heady, which means he thinks, he knows the games, he's a student of the game, he's a scholar of the game. You can say that about LeBron. Kennedy is a heady ball player. He sees things that very few people do. The guy won MVP of the SEC tournament. That's not like your junior league. That's one of the major conferences in America. And he's a freshman and he's MVP of the conference tournament. So my assessment is whether you like him or not, 
whether you get tired of Kyle and talking or not, you will see Kennedy Chandler at the next level. Let's be good since he came from our city, since he know he's from the 901. Let's celebrate this young man and watch him do wonders. Have an awesome day. Because when I came home from that tournament, watching with that team of all of those teams and teams full of superstars, you came home talking about two players. You spoke of Kay Cunningham and you spoke of Kennedy Chandler. Well, Kay Cunningham is probably about 20 mil up in his first year after endorsements and everything. Why can't you say that Kennedy's going to make it the same way? Let's celebrate Kennedy Chandler. Congrats, Kyle, and you did a good job. Congrats to his other family, mother, and everybody else. Memphis, you got another star coming.